Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video we're going to be covering the new update that was just released today um, which is going to be 0.4.27. Um, we're not going to cover all the new features and fixes they've added however I have highlighted a few that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So with that said we'll go ahead and get started. So first off we have is going to be the introduction of EMP damage caused by lightning. Now this obviously doesn't have a 100% chance of causing damage to your vehicle, obviously in advanced mode. However, there is a percentage which I'm not 100% aware of um, that it can go and cause that damage to your vehicle which always means that all your electric will stop working if you actually get damaged or not. So that's the first one. Uh, next off we're going to be talking about is actually going to be the extra feature added to the F2 button. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you know, but obviously the F2 obviously used to show the physics. That can now be used to cycle between physics, buoyancy and displacement of your vehicle. As you can see here, I have the um, boat that we built in one of the tutorials just spawned here that we're going to be using later on. Um, but if we go here, press F2, you can see now we have our physics. So we can go ahead and have a look at the different physics on the block um, that we always used to have, and they introduced that in quite a few updates ago. They've now added the buoyancy to it itself. So you can go ahead, as you can see here, it's highlighted in two different colors. If we jump into photo mode here, you can see obviously we have the one, and then inside my hole is going to be all this blue color. So it now shows that blue color there. So that works out for obviously figure out where your buoyancy is at inside your vehicle. And then next off we have is going to be the displacement of the vehicle, so F2 again, and now you can see the displacement. As the boat rocks around, you'll see that the different blocks are actually moving around, and that just shows, obviously, where your displacement of the vehicle is on the actual sea itself or on the water source itself. So next off, what we're going to be talking about is going to be the three new underwater locations. Uh, they've gone ahead and added three new locations. The first off is going to be the Seabed Caves. Uh, I've only been able to actually find these caves. Um, I've gone to the location, but actually can't find the caves themselves. Um, so I won't be covering that in this video. However, we'll go ahead and we'll look at the two new shipwreck locations. Uh, I'm at the first one as it is right now. So we'll go ahead and jump to our, our map. And as you can see here, um, it's named Mr. N Jersey for some reason. It's got a little shipwreck there. Um, I don't know if that's the same for everyone. Uh, I think it could just be different things. Obviously, you can see different locations now starting to pop up. Uh, Tarn Rocks, Mr. New Jersey, um, shipwreck, and then we'll see pretty much what happens there. And we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead now and just dive into the water and have a look. So gotcha is my scuba gear. And we're going to go jump down and see what we can find. Now we'll go straight down. And you can see that on the mini-map it still has a little icon on the mini-map where it is. Uh, and hopefully we should be able to find it. Ah, yes we have. So it's just over here. Let's see if we can get a better view. You can see here there's quite a big, quite a big ship. Um, if I'm correct, this is the iron one. I could be wrong, um, but yeah, pretty cool big ship now uh, as the new one of the new underwater locations. Hopefully, we'll should get a couple more missions doing that. And you can obviously here, see here is a couple of the new, one of the new chests that they've added into the game. Uh, go ahead and open that. It's cash reward. So if any of you want to go ahead and actually explore these locations, could be quite useful. Um, you will have to find them, of course. Um, but just have a look on your mini map and you should be able to find them. So that's gone ahead. We've covered this first location. Uh, I'm just going to swim to the front. Just have a look at the front quickly. See if I can swim. So you can swim inside here, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see if there's any more chests. And it's got the front of the of the ship. I don't know if there's a if there's a rear part to it. it looks like it's just pretty much the front on the midsection. Um, wonder if there's a further part along. Possibly could be. Um, we'll just quickly go ahead and swim and just see if there's another section. I don't know if that is a rock or is that a boat? It looks like a rock. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say that that's probably... Yep, that's about it. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll jump to the next location. So we've arrived at the next location on the map here. Uh, I'm just going to open the map up and show you what it looks like. It says um, HMS Malayathan, uh, fantastic. So all we'll go do is we'll go dive down and have a look at this. 
gonna turn our flashlight on and see if we can find it. Uh, as you can see as earlier, it's still on the mini map, so we'll just keep on going down until we see it. And there we go. You can start seeing just the outline of it. Um, we'll go a little bit further down and see what this looks like. Okay, so you have the bow, a little bit of the stern, the mast going along to the top there. Let's go have a look at the stern. I should be able to go ahead and dive inside here. There doesn't seem to be any chests or crates here. Obviously, that might change with your with your actual game. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. So that's the second location. Uh, and then I think that's pretty much a good point in the video to go ahead and end there. I've covered things that I found um, interesting and useful. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I uh, found it somewhat informative and useful. And then we'll go ahead and see you in the next one.